Hello, Slice Dicers. This is Brian with another knife video for you. Today, we have what I think is going to be a very fun one, as the title will indicate up above. Knives so nice, I bought them twice. These are knives that I really enjoyed previously when I had them, and for one reason or another, I sold them, whether it was to generate money for the channel, or I just foolishly thought I was done with them, and then I just missed them. So a lot of these are knives I got back just for me. A couple of them have some uses on the channel, but most of them are just because I wanted them back. And through trades and other deals, I was able to get a lot back. And I do really appreciate that. It's, it's very good to be in a position where I can do that. Um, I had sold some stuff to get some stuff back and things like that. So uh, I was very happy to get some stuff back. It uh, doesn't mean I'm going to keep them forever. The Blade Show's coming up. Almost everything's on the chopping block come Blade Show because you want to sell some stuff to, to get other stuff. Not everything. There's a lot of them that my other absolute keepers. But I just counted up my knife collection. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's bad. I have way too many. Um, so I'm probably going to be selling at least like 30 of them before Blade Show and just getting some stuff out. Maybe a few of these. I don't think it's many of them. But uh, let's get going. These are just knives I missed and I got back. So let's start off with one kind of almost inspired this. I've actually been planning this video for months but because um, I kind of went into reacquisition mode the last six, seven months. This is one of the first ones that made me think, you know, as I was getting more and more back, I'm like, well, maybe, maybe I should do a video about it. So here we go. I haven't made a big stink that I got one of these back, but I've shown it. Uh, this is a spider called Little Native. This is not my original one. I did let it go quite some time ago and was able to get my hands back on one. Uh, very, very happy to get it back. Uh, thanks to White Mountain Knives, I was able to get it at a reasonable price, and I very much appreciate that. Really super, super cool knife. Uh, very happy to have one back. It's just such an excellent fifth pocket knife. It's so fidgety and fun. I just love the Little Native. It's really, really good. It, I'll definitely be keeping this one around because this is one I missed a whole lot. And I have excuses to do other videos with it. it can, there's other comparison videos and stuff I can use it with, which I definitely will. I've already got one plan for it. So really, really cool little knife. And I'm just so happy to have it back. And, and it, it'll, I think I'll be able to use it. It's not going to pay for itself, but, you know, I can use it in videos and whatnot. Uh, next up, another Spider Co. I did talk about that I got one of these back, but I got this through a trade through my buddy Mike. So it was a really good deal. Spider Co. Shaman. They're over $200 now. I'm not going to talk about prices on this a whole lot, uh, but yeah, they're over $200 now. They were $150 something when I first got one, and I loved it. It's a great knife, obviously. I got one back. I obviously like it. But the price went up to like $190. I sold it kind of because I was mad, and then uh, and I you know made money on it, so I sold it. And then I just really missed having one around. It went up to 204 I was even more mad. But uh, one of my buddies offered me a really good trade for it, so... Thanks to Mike, I have this back. That's why this one has a, uh, a collector's club mark on it, and it's got a one of Mike's beautiful, beautiful edges. Um, it's because this was someone else's knife before. But I just I love the Shaman. It's a big, beefy bruiser, but I really like it. I, I still just really like it. I really missed having one around, and I'm glad to have gotten one back. Next up will be the last of the Spider Co. I'm going to try to do these by brand, because a lot of them are multiples from the same brand. We have... The Spyderco Chaparral, and I actually have two of them. <laughs> so I previously had a Chaparral Lightweight, and I really liked it, uh, but I sold it. And I wanted the, the carbon fiber one. It took me a really long time. I finally got one, um, and then happened to be able to get a light, Lightweight back again. And I do have a video plan for the Lightweight. I did kind of get this sort of for the channel, because I'm going to do a comparison to the uh, Mini Bug Out. Uh, so that's going to happen down the road. But really, I'm not. I'm definitely probably not going to keep both of these. I don't know which one yet. I, I think I like the carbon one a little bit better uh, for my uses. A little classier looking. But we shall see. We shall see what it brings. Maybe I'll keep them both, but but probably not. But it was really, really great to have a chaparral back again. I've been carrying the snot out of this one. This one I actually just got today. So um, thank you to uh, Southern Edge Knife Works. You can use your discount code SEKW and get 15% off and uh, free shipping links down below, etc. There's a couple of these I got from them, so very much appreciate that from them. So, all right, let's get off of the, the Spider Co. train here. Those aren't the only ones. Uh, next up is, I've, I used to always have a 940 around, and then for a while, I didn't. And I, I don't know why. I sold my last one, and then I meant to get another one, and I just never did. Finally, Thanks to REI and their dividends and their 20% off and one item coupons, I was able to get a good deal and go back and get what a 940 that I had before, the 940-1. This is the S90V carbon fiber version. They're like 270 something. They're very expensive, but you know, when you get, you have 
REI dividend money and REI co-op, you know, 20% off coupons. Um, it wound up being very reasonable. So I got another one. I honestly got it and thought I'd probably just flip it. But as soon as I got it in my hand, I was like, no, this, I'd really miss having a 940 around. Just such a good knife. They're so slim. Nice, fun access lock to play with. Got the little deep carry pocket clip. I like that. This is the uh, the bug out deep carry pocket clip. I like that when you do that. That's a that's a must mod for me. If you can get your hands on one of these, you know, Benjamin doesn't charge much for them, but I already had a bug out, so I was able to just ask and I got one for free. If, if you have the model, then they'll send you, a, I think it's like one or two a year or something like that. Uh, but really love it with that little deep carry pocket clip on it. I think that's all you need for the 940. I think that bug out clip works perfectly fine. It's so nice to have a 940 around, and I carry the snot out of this thing. I will never be without another 940. Is it going to be this one? Probably. I don't really see a reason to get another one unless they do, you know, a custom shop one or something, then maybe I'll do that. But they haven't yet. I kind of think they're not going to. Next up, another bench made. This is kind of an amalgam. This is two knives that were so nice, I bought one that was a combo of the two. <laughs> so it is a bench made full size griptilian in the sheep's foot with the deployment hole, with the 20 CV steel, and the gray G10 handle. So why is it an amalgam of two that it, that it brought back, I guess? It's camouflage, by the way, too. Um, I had a, a mini grip in this exact same configuration. I never really liked the mini grip. It just doesn't fit my hands right. I can't put my finger exactly on why. I guess I can, because my fingers are on it, and they don't feel right. So I guess that is, I guess that is putting my finger directly on it. But anyway... Never really enjoyed the mini grip, so I sold it. I bought a full-size regular grip, the newer ones with the S3V. Didn't like that a bit. I didn't like the plasticky scales and all that stuff. So this is kind of a combination of those two. So this is kind of two birds with one stone. With one stone, knife so nice I bought it twice. And I love this thing. I really do enjoy it. I, I've always liked the full-size grip. I like them with the little spidey hole on them. Um, just a great freaking knife, and I really do enjoy it. It comes with a deep carry clip and all that stuff. Great, great knife. I wish it was still the hollow grind. It isn't, but uh, other than that, I really love it. Like the colors, there is nothing I dislike about this knife. It's it's fantastic. All right, done with the bench maids. It was just those two. Next up, I don't know what's going on with me. Maybe it's because it's winter. I've got more pockets. I think you guys can tell by the channel. I'm on a big knife kick lately, and I've been buying a lot of really big knives. And if you're going to buy big knives, there's one company to get them from. Not one company, but one of my favorite companies to get them from, Cold Steel. So I've got two Cold Steels here. I got another 8010. Uh, this one I sold for not financial reasons, not because I was tired of it. It was because I wanted to use it in a lot of upcoming reviews, and they used to be hollow ground. They switched to this flat grind. I thought I should probably get the proper one, you know, to have around. I loved my 8010, but I thought I should probably have the current, you know, production version for comparisons and stuff. Sold it with the full intent of getting another one, and I just never did. And I really, really missed it. And again, thanks to Southern Knife Works, I was able to get a really good deal on this. And I have one back again. I have used it for one comparison video, but this is not for the channel. This was for me. Um, I just miss having an 8010, this big bruiser. It's probably my favorite of the big bruiser cold steels. It's just, ergos are fantastic. It carries better than you'd think. It is a big, heavy knife. Uh, and they're not terribly cheap. I can't remember what they cost now. Somewhere a little south of 200 I think. But um, uh, you can find them in, on sale though, lots of places. But just a great freaking knife. And really happy to have this thing back. And I cannot see myself letting this one go ever again. I like the scale. So even if they'd like to come up with a new scale color, I'm probably not going to want to change from the black. Uh, just a great freaking big bruiser of a knife. And one of those, I, I'm never worried about hurting it never worried about hurting it not one tiny little bit and even though it's big it's not really as intimidating to people as you'd think they realize it's big once they get close to it but you know you can slow roll it out you don't have to do the big clack or anything like that it's a big triad lock just a great knife next one also a cold steel now this one is not exactly what i wanted but i modified it um i had an 8015 it was the green you know with the bronzy uh, lock bar thing on it on this bronzy scorpion lock bar um these are ones that also have gone up a lot in price they're over 200 bucks now they came out with a black all black one i thought cool that's exactly what i want i want the all black one i uh, couldn't find one that i could get a really good deal on wound up with the same one i had again the green and the bronze but 
I've learned how to writ dye pretty well now, and I'm actually going to do a video on it at some point down the road. I don't know when. Uh, so I writ dyed this one. So now I have this 8015. Yes, it was that that light kind of green, olive green. Now it's the midnight blue writ dye more. I think it came out pretty good. I just did this today, actually. Uh, I think it came out pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks pretty okay with that with that kind of bronzy, greeny lock bar. Um, it went back together all right. It's a bit sweary getting these things back together. There's a spring back here and all that stuff. And if that goes flying, which it probably will, um, it's, it's not, it's a bit sweary getting that back in. But other than that, it went back together fine. I did also do what I do in a lot of uh, cold steels with this super aggressive G10. Uh, I did just, I marked off, you know, with some tape, where the uh where the pocket clip lands and i took a little dremel with the round head thing and you know and filed it down a little bit so it's smoother still a little rough going in on the pockets but not nearly as bad as it was i think if i take it apart again and move like i think i removed like maybe three of these little notches i think if i remove one more going forward it'll slide out even smoother but that'll be somewhere down the road but i like the way the die came out it's pretty cool it penetrated a bit unevenly, but I kind of like the way it looks, so not sure. I kind of do still want the black one. Who knows what I'm going to do with this. I may sell it and get the black one. I may put it up in one of those, um, one of the uh, Trade Me Anythings. I'm kind of thinking about that maybe for the next one, uh, but we'll see. Uh, it is modified by me, but uh, not mildly modified, but I really do like it. Tastefully modified, isn't that what they call it in the car world? I think the color looks cool, though. Uh, next up... These are all single brands from here on out. So next up is the Civivi McKenna. This is an upgraded model from what I had before, but that's not why I sold my old McKenna. I sold my old McKenna just because I wasn't carrying it much. I was doing a big knife sale. I'm weird and like I like to have even numbers, and I think I was at like nine knives and I wanted to have ten. So I threw this one in there because I wasn't carrying it much. And then very shortly thereafter, they came out with this Damascus blade, and... I was like, yeah, I'm just going to do that. Uh, I'm going to get another one because I did miss it a whole lot. And I do carry it more now than I used to. Uh, it's just just a really great little front flipper. One of my favorite front flippers that I've ever owned. And it's not horribly expensive. Even this Damascus one was less than 100 I think they're all gone now. But the regular ones are way cheaper than that. Ergos are pretty good. Elijah Isham design. I love Elijah and I don't have many of his designs. So it's nice to have one of his around. And uh, it's just a really great little Civivi. The action on this thing is just awesome. And I just missed it immediately, like as soon as I get This is the second quickest I, I bought one back. I think I sold it, I think maybe four or five days later I bought another one. But the last one, we'll save the one for last that was the quickest turnaround. And I, I hope you'll find it amusing. Uh, next up, this is another one I got in a tray with, with my buddy Mike. Uh, it is the Mass Drop Keen. Um, Ray Laconico design, Drop Keen, whatever you want to call it. Um, S35VN, full tie. When I went to go buy one, I wanted this configuration. They didn't have it. I got the plain titanium with the speed holes in it, and I liked it a whole lot. Um, but again, I just a knife sale, just grabbing stuff up. I, I probably had a certain dollar amount I wanted to hit on that knife sale, and I threw it in there and I sold it. And then my buddy Mike traded me his, which is exactly the one that I wanted, and it was brand new in the box. He took it out once, flipped it a couple times, put it back in the box. So as we all do with some knives, we have too many and they just get lost in the shuffle. So it was an absolutely like new when I got it. And I love having it back. I, I do love the Keen. Now I got the configuration that I wanted. Been on kind of a bronze kick lately. So really, really cool to have one of these back again. And I, I can't fathom why I'd ever get rid of one ever again. It's just, it's just great. This is like the, the almost the, the pinnacle of the drop stuff. The Keen is just fantastic. All right. Next up, so I used to have, you guys have seen this on video already, so I guess I don't really divide it. I used to have a full titanium Spanto half track. This is a Hinder half track, the USA Blade, USMA Blade exclusive Warncliffe. My Spanto was also a USMA Blade exclusive, and I loved it. Beautiful full tie, love the half track, love the design of it. But at the end of the day, it was like an over $600 knife, and I just wasn't carrying it. And I've always had in the back of my mind, I want a, I want a more user half track. Like I don't, I really want a half track back again, but I don't want one of the really super expensive ones. So USA May Blade came out with this awesome warning. And uh, through my buddy Emilio and USA May Blade, I was, I, I was able to get one. 
and this is just regular the base cheaper if you want to call it that 425 dollar model uh but it's really nice you know 20 cv steel it just has the bronze this is the hinderer bronze i thought that maybe usa made blade usa made blade custom did this one but no it is just their hinderer's normal color um uh, so nice to have one of these back around again and it's been in my pocket at least part of the day almost every day since i got it a few weeks ago a couple weeks ago i i just love this thing so nice to have a half track back and the the warning is just cool as hell if you don't like it you're dead inside this is just the uh, i love the half tracks and i love that warning this is one definitely ain't going anywhere i don't worry about carrying it. i know it's still expensive but i don't worry about it it's a hinder if you bang it up they're gonna fix it don't worry about it now the last one this is the one that had the quickest turnaround so i did a knife sale it sold i was packing it up to ship it the next day it was a friday I knew I, I couldn't get to packing it till like noon. I knew it probably wasn't going to go out until like Monday anyway. But I was packing it up. I flipped it a few times. And I was like, you idiot. Why did you sell this? It's perfectly broken in. It's so good. Why did you sell this thing? And that is a Kershaw bare knuckle. So what I did <laughs> was I was packing it up. Um, realized I wasn't going to make the post office anyway. I thought, well, I'm going to have to take them on Monday. It's not going to happen. And then I looked up and... Uh, they had this 20 CV version at, S at uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, and I bought it. And I bought it, like, on a Friday. It arrived on Monday. I did a little unboxing video with it, with my old one. If you watched that video, that knife is already sold. <laughs> I just hadn't put it in the box yet. Um, and I just, and I, I did a little video with the two of them, and then I sold my old one off, and I, yeah, and I'm fine. This is still not quite as broken in as good as my old one was, but uh, it's 20 CV. I like the black. It's uh, it's just a great freaking knife. I love the bare knuckle. I'll never be without one again. This is one to keep her forever. And it's 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 a Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive, but they still have them in stock. I don't I don't know if they sold out of them and restocked them or they just ordered a bunch of them. But you can still get one. This isn't one that's like impossible to obtain. Same as with the, they still have a few of these left at USMA Blade if you really want the Warrencliffe. Uh, but when they are gone, they are gone. Uh, unfortunately, everything else here is usually you can find uh other than the damascus part of the mckenna but yeah you can still get this so go check it out that's it those are my knives so nice i bought them twice i've really been looking forward to this video like i said reacquisition mode it's been a lot of fun it's been great just to reacquaint myself with some of these knives like some of them weren't gone very long but a lot of them were gone for quite a long time and it was just cool just to have them back around and uh back around to play with and i just wanted to to show them and me will give you a bit more of an idea of what my actual tastes are of stuff that I get for me. Like I said, only a couple of these I could justify for channel reasons. Most of them were just because I missed them. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.